taxons it holds. Sorry? I mean, he must have told him a lot about this country. Right. Yes. And so he decided that he must come and pay it a visit. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what are some of the things uh, as he told you? Oh, it's warm. Ah, it's <laughs> warm, really hot. <laughs> yes. You see, I'm sweating. Really. Yeah, yeah. And for you, by two weeks, you're going to have a wonderful turn. Yeah, really, yeah. Really. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Uh, so, I, I, I mean, what are some of the things you expect to see? Um, Mm, I don't know now, I can't remember. <laughs> we've still got to read the guidebook. You've got to read the guidebook? Yeah, we've got a guidebook, so we're going to read that. Okay. It tells you everything you need to know about the country. Yeah. yeah. Really? And then looking at that, there's okay. something. Okay. So looking at that, yeah. you know, uh, some of it is showing uh, the attractions around the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it means that it's helping a lot. Yeah, okay. of course, yeah. Yeah, that's good. And what are your names? Peter. Peter. Lynn. Lynn. What's your name again? Uh, my name is John. John. And you've been in I've Gambia been, before? I've been to Gambia 12 times before. So, oh. yeah, my wife is here at the minute because she is doing some work with some schools. She's a teacher, so we've come over for a week to, so to see Mummy, haven't we? See mommy. <laughs> and she's really anticipating that moment. Are you looking forward to seeing Are you look? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to see mommy. And uh, for him, how many times has he? Here five times. Five times. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Already he's, he's very familiar. familiar with the yeah. country. I can see. Yeah, yeah. And uh, for 12 times you've been here, so you're really an old fan of the country. Yeah. You must know a lot about yeah, the people. We've, yeah, we've got lots of people, and we know some people from when they were 12 years old, and now they're 19, and, and you know, so we've kind of grown up with them, so really? it's good. So yeah, very, very friendly people. Really? It's one of the reasons we keep coming back. Really? And now, uh, if you're choosing uh, uh, this thing, a holiday destination, a destination for holiday, I mean, he, of course, your well-earned money should be, I mean, uh, spent very judiciously. Yeah. Uh, cho is choosing the Gambia a good choice? Choosing the Gambia is a good choice because it's excellent value for money. And the thing is, from the UK, it's only six hours on a flight. So you come here and you have a wonderful climate and it's still cheap when you get here. It's a bit more expensive than it was, but it's still reasonable, good value for money. With this smiling coast appearing as inviting and attractive as ever, repeaters have already started arriving in great numbers. It shows an unyielding attraction to a destination which offers a variety of amusements ensuring a glowing respite. The natural environment is unmissable. The history and culture are still undiluted. Warmth and friendliness pervades through the smiling coast like a cascading downpour. The people here have got one record, very impeccable record, their friendliness, the hospitality. All the people we've met so far are very, very friendly. It's you can easily notice. Very, wel very wel welcoming, yes, very welcoming. And no, you don't feel threatened at all, oh, as you yeah. do in some parts <laughs> exactly. of Africa. That's the most unique difference. We feel, you feel very safe here compared to um, when we were in Botswana, it's not so safe. Kenya, not safe at all, and you couldn't walk around like this. Um, you, you just couldn't do that. So this is really lovely. It's a smiling coast. Yeah. It's the smiling coast, and it's known for its peace and uh, hospitality. Now, as talk of high deficits and fiscal depressions continue to escalate in Europe, but does the traveler to the smiling coast think about the prospects of his vacation? I think I should ask you, in Europe currently, what I've talked about uh, the financial deficit affecting countries. How do you think this will affect uh, holiday makers? Um, well, I, think, I think people just have less money to spend, so they're not coming away as frequently as they did. So, yeah, but, you know, I mean, it hasn't really affected us because we've got certain holidays through the year and we always come to the Gambia and it's good value for money, so you just have to be a bit more tighter with things at home. Really? Yep. So uh, you've had him there. Uh, what's your name again? John. John. For John, Gambia is still an unmissable destination. Uh, notwithstanding the financial despair in Europe, he can still make regular trips. Uh, this is a winter break coming amid great efforts by authorities to improve the local tourism industry. Reshaping, rethinking, and redesigning uh, now popular catchwords been sounded everywhere as officials move to design and create better products to up competition levels in order to break once impenetrable markets. And for the lover of nature, amazing natural sceneries are way to be explored and freshly discovered. The woodlands and protected sites have boring, still untouched backdrops and landscapes come in great numbers. 
a vacation without a venture into the wild is somewhat incomplete. Abuko Nature Reserve is the first protected area called a conservation area. There, of course, there are a lot of protected areas managed by forestry department, but this is the first conservation protected area. And Abuko is very important and very beautiful because it has a gallery forest, which used to be the type of forest, you know, around the shoreline. And now here is an example, the only example of that gallery forest where it is safe and it's protected. Here, if you look at the trees, we have more than 97 species of plants. They are being together with a different type of ecosystem, that is the, the water, the, the lowland area with a water hole and of welling. I don't know whether you know the source of the water that you originally used to be the, the lake here. It's this water is an water that comes from underground. You understand? That's how the water originates and Another mesmeric feature of the Smiling Coast is its vibrant nightlife. The Southern Gambia area with its range of restaurants, bars, casinos and nightclubs is the most visit entertainment spot where your daring and clubbing instincts would be adequately satiated. Uh, it's a great country and very nice people, a lot of smiles, very happy. Well, we first had dinner at Alibaba in the front. Very good dinner. Food is nice. Yeah, very good dinner. Okay. And now uh, some very nice music after dinner. <laughs> we love the Gambia, we do. We love the Gambia, we do. <laughs> a live band playing exciting country music. A happy and buoyant crowd of dancers while some diners on reservedly enjoy the appetizing Senegambian cuisine, been served by smartly dressed waiters. If you have been out for a while in the cool breeze blowing from the Atlantic close by, within minutes you will soon start getting all warm and alive to the party. Once inside, and the tasteful cuisine being served makes it no better. But the ultimate delight is yet to come. The astounding River Gambia is your take for an unforgettable break. Cruises on the meandering river will get you to the hinterland of the country, where hoteliers are currently moving to provide all necessary facilities to give visitors a perfect sojourn on the smiling coast. My, my, my name is Marcel Hendricks. Okay, I am, uh, of course, I am part of, of, of the, the Gambia uh, Hotel Association as vice chairman. No. I'm the, the general manager of Combo Beach Hotel and I am the more as proprietor of uh, Sitanuku Lodge. Okay, now Marcel, basically what's happening here? Well, um, with the community of Sitanuku, we have uh, taken the, the big challenge of trying to, uh, to build a lodge okay. uh, during uh, this, this, uh, this summer. Mm -hmm. Everybody was thinking that we would never make it, but uh, we have started in, uh, I think, in February, March, mm -hmm. and uh, five lodges are more or less ready. A uh, restaurant area will be quite soon ready. We've got a reception. Mm -hmm. um, now we're still working on the gardens and the landscaping. Mm -hmm. And we open to have our first guest, um, we'll say, end of November. So this is only the drive to create new products and venture into emerging markets. 
Correct, correct. I think it's very important to use the, the, the river as a product, to use the, the, the upcountry as a product because there's more to see and more to do with the local community uh, in the, in the, in the, the, along the river. And I think uh, it's, a, it's, it's a first start. Um, we are trying to aim for, okay, for, for good fishermen who would like to have a, a good approach from, from, the, from, the, from the river because we are, our foods are, are, are on, on, on the riverside, which is one of the most, 